welcome to the load tracks load completion video. First, we're going to start off by finding our load tracks app in our mobile device. When we pull up our load tracks, we are going to find two sections, current loads and previous loads. As you can see, I don't have any current loads in, so I'm going to hit my three lines on the top left corner and then I'm going to hit my loads. My loads, it came up with my BTI Tyrell test 1-1 and it has been assigned to me. The information in here comes up and it is our loading point, which is Suncor Oil Sands and the directions to that facility and Heartland Sulfur Terminal, which is our offload point and the directions to that facility. So first off, I'm gonna hit my assigned and it's gonna pop up an alert and it wants our ticketed equipment number. My equipment is going to be unit number 64 for the tractor. I'm gonna hit accept. As you can see, it turned from assigned to accepted. I am then going to hit my accept button. It's gonna pop up a summary of my information of this load and all the information that goes along with it. Make sure that you go through, make sure all the information is right that has been dispatched across to you and you understand the directions that you're going. At the bottom you see terminal, which is my loading point of Suncor oil sands and my destination, which is the Heartland Sulphur Terminal. When I get to my terminal, my loading point, I'm going to go to the bottom, which says I'm at the terminal. When I'm at the terminal, I am going to load in the information of my start menu. That would be my tractor number, which is 64. My trailers that I'm pulling, which this is sulfur load. So I'm going to use a sulfur trailer of SU 17 and 18. The product I'm loading, which is molten sulfur the destination i'm going to which is heartland i've got the time and i'm going to enter my truck starting odometer which will be one one two two three three then i've got my trailer odometer which for me is zero now we bring up this screen, which has a big start button right underneath where my trailer odometer was. And at the very bottom, there is a green bar that says start, subtask, and finish. I want to make sure I hit the start button, the big green one right under my trailer odometer. Hit OK. And that'll bring up the subtask uh, picture frame. I'm now going to hit my next task, so I'm going to enter in my first task. Hit that, and it'll bring up my add task screen. My add task screen says travel mode. There is a drop down menu inside there. I bring up that drop down menu, and it gives me uh, multiple different options. We have got travel, load, unload, load weight, unload weight, chains, and off duty. Since I'm going to load, I'm going to select my load portion. I'm going to start my start time before I load, which will bring up a screen that will have the dates. You can change the dates. We're going to leave it on today's date, which is July 5th. The current time, which is 4.18 p.m. We're going to use 15 minute increments. So we'll go to the closest 15 minutes, which will be 4.15 p.m. Make sure that we're still selected on the PM section. You didn't move it over to AM. Make sure that is right straight across the board. And when we're done that, we're going to hit OK. When we're done loading, we're going to select on our end date or end time. So we ended the loading at today at 4. It's about half an hour to load, so 4.45. So we're going to select the 45. We've got 4.45 p.m. selected. I'm going to hit done. It moves it up into my 24-hour clock. 
and then under description we're gonna write what a description of what the task we just had at hand under this it says load but we're gonna use a better description than just load so we're gonna put load 40.12 metric tons of molten sulfur from Suncor oil sands. When we're done that, we're gonna hit save. It'll bring us back to our subtask and we've got our subtask done. We're gonna now travel down to our unload facility where we are going to hit our next task when we arrive there. We're gonna bring down our travel mode. We traveled down, so we're gonna hit travel. It's about five hours from Suncor Oil Sands down to Heartland Sulfur Terminal. So we're gonna to go to 945 which is five hours from when we finished offloading. And we're gonna write a description. Travel from Suncor Oil Sands to Heartland Sulfur Terminal. Then we're going to save that. When we get to Heartland, if there's trucks waiting to offload and we're going to have to wait, we're going to pick up this next task again. We're going to go to the drop down. And since we're at the unload portion, we're going to go to unload wait. When we get all done waiting, after we're done waiting, we're going to hit end date. And if we waited for two hours, we're gonna make that happen in our time section. Since we arrived at 9.45, that would make that 11.45 p.m. So we're gonna select 11.45, hit done. And then we're gonna write in our description why we were waiting. So at this point, we were waiting on four trucks, ahead to offload and then we're going to hit save and that'll put it into our subtasks at this point we are going to now offload or unload so we're going to hit our next task it brings up our time from before which it does on all sections which is 11 45 p.m at the time we're at now so we're gonna hit our drop down task. We're gonna to go to unload. It's an hour to unload, so that'll make it 12.45 a.m. We're going to select on the left-hand side because we are now into a new day. We've got to select the sixth. We're gonna go down to 12, move it to 45. Make sure you are selecting a.m we are on a new date and making sure the time is correct we're gonna hit done that'll select there in our description we're gonna go write unload 40.12 metric tons metric tons of molten sulfur at Heartland Sulfur Terminal. We're going to hit save. At this point, we would do another section and we would travel back to our original load point. But for all intents and purposes, we're just going to move over to the finish section. So if you look at the very bottom and you have your start, your subtask and your finish, we're going to tap finish, which will bring up our finish page. We're going to enter in our and odometer on our tractor. Mine is one, two, three, four, five, six. That's what my tractor says. 
we have our load ticket. So we're gonna use, for this, we were going to use the Suncor BOL number, which was 03288. And our location we loaded, which was Suncor Oil Sands. I'm gonna get rid of our zeros and you'll see that we're entering our load amount. We're gonna use metric tons. So we loaded 40.12 metric tons. And then we're gonna go get rid of our zeros and you will find the amount delivered. We delivered our entire load. So we're gonna once again put 40.12 metric tons. There's a comment section. This comment section is for anything you wanna comment about for the load that's happened. Just remember these comments go to our customers, so keep it professional and keep it pertained to the job at hand. When we're done finish, done putting in all our information, it's time to upload our BOLs and our pictures of what need to be attached to the BTI. So we're gonna hit, hit add file, and then we're gonna hit add file again. Under file name, we're going to put the BTI number. Mine is Tyrell Test 11. Then we're going to cho hit choose file. Choose file bring up two different categories. You can either use your camera and take a picture. Or for my case, I've already taken the picture. So I'm going to go to my photo gallery and retrieve it from there. So I'm going to hit photo gallery. I'm going to select my picture. It'll bring up a cropping section. I'm going to center my picture into having the best view of all the pertinent information on the BOL. And then I'm going to hit choose. When that comes about, we're going to hit upload. And then now it is uploaded to my BTI. If you have one picture that you need to attach, then you would go to finish ticket. I have multiple, so I can just go into add, add file, put the same BTI number, Tyrell, test, one, one. I'm gonna choose a file, back to my gallery. I'm gonna add my second picture, center it in my crop, hit choose. Hit upload. Now I have multiple pictures in my BTI attached. I'm good. So I'm going to hit finish ticket on the bottom there. My finished ticket puts it into PDF format, so it gives you all the information of your ticket. It gives you all your tasks, how your timing of your tasks, how long they've taken, and the descriptions that you've written. And then on the bottom, it has the attachments that you put in. Make sure all the information is correct as you put this in. And this is to go over it. This is your preview section. When you're satisfied that everything is correct on there, you're going to hit done. When you hit done, it's going to alert you to double check your work, which we just did. When we confirm that we've double checked, we're going to hit yes. Task is now being complete. I'm going to hit OK. And now that job is done. If I go over into previous section, previous loads, I can see right at the top there, BTI Tyrell Test 1-1 is complete. When you have no more loads, you ask for another load and or you carry on to your next load.